the adult female eel. They're cold water species, same as fish, amphibians, reptiles, they're, they're all cold water, they're all cold blooded. So their, their body temperature just basically takes on the, 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 the temperature that, they, that, that they're in. The warmer the water is, the less oxygen the water is capable of actually absorbing. So the fewer parts per million of oxygen are able to, to actually be in the water when the water is warmer. So you're putting fish under stress whenever you're capturing them and transporting them and keeping them pent up and, and, and whatnot. So they tend to use even more oxygen because they're stressed. And uh, so with the already lower oxygen levels in the water when it's warm, it, it, it just makes it that much tougher to, 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 you know, you have to work a little extra, a little extra hard, be a little, little more careful to keep the eel healthy and alive until they get to Lenora. The, the main things we rely on are uh, like flow through holding tanks. So there's water always coming in, water going out, so it's the water being replenished. We have fresh water constantly going through, and that we find is, is really helpful for eel health. And the other thing is just checking water quality regularly, right? So we're we're checking on the main thing being kind of dissolved oxygen. And um, uh, with oxygen tanks we have and bubblers, we're able to maintain that. 